please do not waste your money on this cash grab of a vehicle. Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and the reason that I've put that clip front and centre is because I know a lot of people look at these videos just for the lap times and they then click off as soon as they find out that something is quicker or slower and will go out and buy it immediately if it's quicker. But it is much, much more nuanced than that with this case and this is basically to show straight away that the Shitaro is not worth more than double the price of the Hakuchu Drag. As you can see the lap time there is one tenth of a second difference. The Shitaro is slower in a straight line as well which we'll come on to later on but you, you, you can see on the lap time comparison that you know is that worth the money? Is that worth an extra 1.2 million dollars in this game? I honestly don't think so. So it's obviously up to you but I'm going to talk about the, the, the bike itself properly now but I wanted to put this comparison out there straight away to show you the small difference between first and second in the class. So obviously in first place the only vehicle that we have from this sort of mini update from the Bikers DLC is the Shitaro. It does get a lap time of 57.490 seconds which is exactly one tenth of a second quicker than the Hakuchu drag that we got in the first part of the Bikers update and they've basically done exactly the same thing as what they've done in the past when they for example released the Osiris which was the new quicker supercar and then a month later released the T20 which was a couple of tenths of a second quicker than it. Now, in that case, the Osiris was 1.9 million and the T20 was 2.2, so they were at least similar in terms of uh, cost. But with the Hakuchu Drag being approximately $1 million and the Shitaro being $2.225 million, that is a huge, huge difference in price. And the Shitaro, in my opinion, is not worth that money. One tenth of a second over a lap like this is not worth that money, especially when you consider that the Shitaro is slower in a straight line than the Hakuchu Drag and it's slower in a straight line significantly than some of the top bikes in the class for example the Barty and the Hakuchu which are the, the quickest bikes in terms of top speed you know the, the Shitaro is a good six or seven miles per hour slower than that in terms of top speed now there's no difference between leaning forward with the Shitaro or wheeling with it most bikes in GTA it is always quicker to wheelie with them the Shitaro uh, is no difference in terms of top speed in that respect and uh, the Hakuchu Drag obviously was the very first one that we had where it was actually quicker to lean forward. But uh, yeah, so you can do anything. It's obviously easier to lean forward with the Shitaro. And it builds up its lap time all through cornering. It's much better in the corners than pretty much any other bike. But it does suffer in terms of top speed. And as you saw on the lap time comparison, the, the Shitaro does gain a bit in, in the first part of the lap when it is more about cornering. And then the Hakuchu Drag brings it back in the later half of the lap when there's more top speed involved. So think very carefully whether you want this bike. It is honestly just a cash grab. There is no real customization apart from removing the mud guards. It's one tenth of a second quicker over this lap. It's probably going to be slower on the majority of laps on the majority of tracks that require a bit more top speed. It might be a little bit quicker on tracks that need more cornering ability but ultimately that is a huge huge price increase for very very tiny performance increase in corners and actually a performance decrease when it comes to top speed so if you already have a Hakuchu drag I don't recommend getting this you don't need it obviously get it if you want it in terms of uh, looks or things like that or you just think it's a cool bike but honestly the bikes class there is some balance back to the motorbikes class now the motorbikes class has uh, regained the balance that it used to have with the Akuma and the Barty. They had very different purposes, but they were very close in terms of lap time. That was lost when we had the Hakuchu Drag, but that has been returned now. It's just that you have to pay at least one million to, to be competitive now. You can still be reasonably competitive with the Barty, so anybody on a budget should just go for that. It is a little bit more difficult to get the lap time out of it because you do have to wheelie everywhere with it, but it does have one of the highest top speeds in the game anyway, so there is still some balance in there. But uh, yeah, I can't uh, I can't emphasize enough that the Shitaro only buy it if you think it's worth it. The increase in performance and the fact that it is the new quickest bike in the game, it's only by one tenth of a second, and really, I don't think it's worth the extra money. So that's it, guys. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your comments and your thoughts about all of this down below. I really do appreciate all of your support, as always, and I hope I've been a help, and I'll see you next time.